What's up everybody? My name is Royal Rebel, and in today's video I am unboxing my newest cosplay. Um, so I am getting ready to go to Motor City Comic Con this year and I'm really excited because I don't normally meet voice actors but this year and I'm assuming this is because the Mario movie came out they have Charles Martinet that's gonna be there so I am going to get my get to meet my first voice actor um I know I've probably said it a million times at this point but I'm a new mom and so this will be my daughter's first convention um and so actually she does have a matching cosplay with mine because obviously if I'm taking her a convention she has to match either me or my husband or both um so yeah and then this is from Heroes Time Cosplay which is a brand that I don't think I can recommend enough and this is probably one of their more new designs so I'm really excited to kind of like get a newer designed item from Arda or not Arda I don't know why I keep thinking about the wigs a newer design from Heroes Time um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and unbox it one of the things I really like is that one, Heroes Time is super plus size friendly. Well, I shouldn't say super, but they are plus size friendly. Even if you look at their their size chart, it might not necessarily be plus size. But one of the things I really appreciate about them as a plus size cosplayer is that most times when you try to get plus size or you get custom size, so like all of my Heroes Time cosplays are custom size, um, you're not breaking the bank. Like most cosplay shops, if you want to get even just plus size, not even custom size, it'll cost you like 20, 30 bucks to do. Um, with Heroes Time, it's five. It's five dollars. And there's so many features with their cosplays that I just absolutely love. There's a reason why I have three different suits from them and I just keep going back for more. Um, so, and I don't think I mentioned it yet, but I got the Mario Kart Princess Peach cosplay. They recently got... Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, and Rosalina. And so I got the Princess Peach one because obviously if I'm gonna meet the voice actor for Mario, I need to be on theme. Now granted in hindsight, because I am the second daughter, I should have gotten the Princess Daisy one, but you know what? I'm gonna live a little. I'm gonna be player one for once. Um, but yeah, so I got it custom size. I also got the shoes built into it, which is another feature I recommend because to get the shoes installed into the cosplay, it's only, I believe, $25. So basically, like, if you're gonna buy shoes for a cosplay that you would get from Heroes Time, I recommend just going with the shoes. I mean, if you do require extra supports, you're gonna need to buy supports, but I mean, I feel like most shoes I would get in relation to what I get from Heroes Time, they would run about $20, $30 anyway. So if I'm gonna do that, might as well, one, get it with the cosplay I'm buying at the same time and then get something that matches on point. Um, and I believe those are all the features I got. So we got it out of the bag. Um, you can already see some of the details are printed onto the suit, but I'm gonna go and throw it on. All right. So I have the suit about half on, mostly because this is probably the most involved like suit I've gotten from Heroes Time. Um, I've never gotten anything in so many bits and pieces before. So if you guys don't know, I've gotten the Galaxy Gwenum suit and then I've gotten one of their Harley Quinn suits. And for the most part, those were all one piece. Like the Harley Quinn, it had the wrist pieces were separate. Uh, and, I, and the neck piece was separate. Um, this one, <laughs> I've got this belt, which is separate. I've got the boots, which are separate. Uh, obviously, I got the gloves, which are separate, which is kind of nice because um, being that like I've got gloves on the other two. Oh, that's right, the Harley Quinn one came with gloves that are separate as well. Um, I've got the scarf, which I need to learn how to tie, which I haven't put on. Um, but then there's like a couple of things that are kind of interesting that I wasn't expecting with this cosplay. The first being that if you look really closely, like there's this textured pattern on the cosplay. I kind of expected it to come like in a plain white. I don't hate the texture. It just makes it look not white. Um, it's coming, at least for me, it's reading a little gray on the camera. I just wasn't expecting it. Also, by the way, I'm only wearing like a bra and underwear. Like I'm not wearing shapewear with this to kind of emphasize. Um, and then another thing that's weird, and I gotta figure out how to show this real quick. Um, so even though the shoes come separate, like this is one of the boots, the other one's on my foot. Um, 
it still comes with the with the with the foot sealed in so this is the side with the boot this is the side with the foot the uh band to show where the top of the boot would be yeah that's a part of the suit so if i put the boot up all the way you don't see it this is a little wrinkly because it's a it's weird getting the boot on with my feet sealed into the suit but but overall <laughs> there's a reason why i love hero time suits there's a reason why i'm a hero time associate like it's really good quality. Like, even this scarf is not some flimsy, cheap material. Like, it is the same material as the spandex of the suit. Um, the belt is really solid. And considering, like, I am well above, like, the, the largest size that they make standard, and that they're still able to custom make it for, like, five extra dollars, is super nice. And, like, the shoes... I think they're pretty solid for what you pay for. They're basically kind of like Tom's, except they don't go completely over your foot because it's got this covering it. Um, you know, obviously you can see how flat it is. So if you're someone who needs support in your shoes, like you're going to want to buy extra supports. But like, I've never had a problem with my Gwenham suit with the shoes. I like that it does have some of the detailing. I'm a little conflicted about how I feel about the chest detail because it's so large that like if I wanted to like make a 3D object to place on there because like you know it is a 3D object on the character I don't really have that option but I mean I like I said I can't recommend it enough and if you guys want to check out the link to this cosplay I will be leaving it down in the description below um but yeah there for the most part I love it there are some things I don't like like I don't like that my feet are sewn into the suit like, I bought boots thinking that, like, I would have boots. I also don't like that the top detailing to the boot is on the suit and not the boot itself. Like, honestly, like, where this hem is should be white. Um, so it's an interesting choice to me that they decided not to do that. The gloves are really solid. I appreciate that they gave me gloves and not sewn it onto the suit. So that way, if I have to, like, eat, use the bathroom, take care of my kid while I'm at the convention, I can do all that. But... What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more cosplay content.